Okay, so uh, we're going to run this little lathe now. This is an Emco Unimat 3. This is the uh, Austrian version. This is made in Austria. Uh, it's a really sweet little lathe. It's got a nice addition to it. It's got this accessory, which is the uh, carriage drive. So that works really nicely, and we're going to show that here momentarily. I uh, just want to show that it's got a two speed motor. That's the low speed. Here's the high speed. This is a piece of Delrin. I've actually got the uh, spindle at a relatively high speed. There's additional uh, adjustments that we can make to the spindle speed right here uh, with the belts in the headstock, uh, at the outboard side of the headstock. So we're going to run this at the lower speed and then engage the, uh, the traverse uh, traversing drive and we'll uh, take a nice cut off that Delrin. That's probably about a 50 or 60 thousandths cut on the Delrin. Uh, this is a rocker tool post. It also comes with another tool post. It would be this one. This is a uh, tool post that's useful especially for uh, uh, tools with uh, different different edges on them. That, uh, okay, we're going to shut this off now because it's uh, reaching the end of the uh, travel. This tool post can be moved over closer to the uh, carriage uh, left side and therefore approach the chuck a little bit more uh, closely, but uh, we're going to leave it right there. Once you uh, once you do pull out the uh, the automated cross feed, or uh, sorry, traverse, then you can uh, manually move the carriage over. So there's the carriage been has been now moved over. Uh, just for uh, scale, here's a sharpie pen. Uh, accessories that are going to come with it, as I mentioned, this other uh, tool post, some shims that are used under the tool with this tool post. Uh, the Jacobs chuck, two dead centers, a faceplate, and a lathe dog. So that uh, Emco Unimat 3 is a very nice little machine. I'm just going to show uh, the uh, outboard side here. Uh, we can uh, adjust the speed of the spindle. It's actually on a relatively high speed right there. We want it to pop it into a little bit lower speed. This is how that's done. And now that's the low speed. And this will be the high speed. So uh, several options for this is also got essentially a back gear, which is uh, uh, I guess we can run that up here. It actually wasn't in back gear just now. That was a direct drive right off the motor. If we put this on up here, we'll uh, get a, a real nice a lower speed, and then we can go one step lower still. So it's got a nice uh, nice range of speeds on it. And the system for uh, moving the carriage will work uh, in any of these speeds. So that's the uh, Emco Meyer Austrian made Emco, uh, sorry, Unimat 3. Also uh, want to show how this uh, three jaw chuck works. It's a very nice chuck. This pops right out, and I uh, actually can use the uh, bar uh, from the uh, Jacob's Chuck uh, key as one of the two levers to uh, tighten this up or loosen it. And uh, you can do the same thing. I just made this a little bit narrower here, so take a smaller piece of stock. But uh, if you could put a Tommy bar in this one and a Tommy bar essentially in this one, and uh, uh, adjust the, the size of the uh, opening in the, in the chuck and then uh, also you can use the same size Tommy bar to then spin the chuck off the spindle and uh, we can then uh, put a different chuck on or the face plate etc. This would be the face plate uh, then you would put a center in the spindle socket like that and you can uh, turn a workpiece between centers. Uh, this uh, Jacob's chuck will come out as well and uh, we can put this center, uh, it, this happens to be a dead center in, uh, in, in here. You just need a little lube on these then when you do that. So uh, that's the two chucking options that this lathe is going to come with. So I'm going to just quickly discuss the uh, Enco 3, Mco, sorry, Unimat 3, uh, the uh, milling uh, mount for this uh, milling head uh, would uh, sit on a column that would be uh, 
oh, about uh, this high on this uh, on this lathe, and the column would attach right here at this boss. The ways are cast iron. That's a nice feature to the lathe. It makes a, a rigid uh, system for the carriage to sit on. So uh, that's something I wanted to discuss, and then I also want to show how quickly this motor can uh, come off of here and be, can, uh, and be available for the uh, milling head. So I'm just going to show how that happens. Uh, there are two bolts right here at the head. There, this one and this one. So we just loosen those up a little bit and we can uh, twist this just ever so slightly, about a oh, twelfth of a, of a turn and uh, this will all come right out of here and now we have the motor free to be used uh, for a milling attachment so this actually would sit on the milling column uh, back here and uh, drive the uh, uh, spindle for the milling column so it's a pretty slick design it works great and uh, very easy to convert and then when you put it back you just uh, reverse the process and you're uh, back in business good to go with the lathe again